Hey everyone, happy Friday and welcome back to what's happening. So uh, Melody's friend Shanita, she went live and she touched on a little bit about the situation with Melody and Martel. Um, Of course, we know on yesterday, news broke that Martel had filed an amendment to their custody agreement, um, basically saying that Melody was in contempt of court. Um, So and then also, of course, we know he accused her of a bunch of different things. But Shanita weighed in and she said if two people found a way within everywhere to heal and to work on what they needed to work on. She said, wow, we actually had the option to watch it play out, basically probably on TV. She said it could be a beautiful thing. And she encouraged and said that people should be praying for Martel, for him to heal and for him to have growth. Um, She said, because this is the children's father and that she will be praying. So take a listen to what she had to say, you guys. And then let's talk about it down in the comments. See, all the people that said no don't like healing. Anybody that say no, I know where your mind is. You don't, you don't want healing. You want strife. I didn't say he was strong enough. I said if, if I had a, a choice. See, this is what's so funny. Ooh, y'all be going in. It is so crazy. It's so crazy. Listen, one more time. I said if I could see something that I wanted to see. This is so crazy. See how people don't know? This is how I know I'm a positive person. I stay in the that it stay in the whole positive uh mindset what i'm saying in a perfect world can i just say it in a perfect world because y'all still trying to live in the now and we all know it's not in the now this is how i know i couldn't find a, have a blog y'all be going crazy can we go back to the hypothetical do y'all understand what the word hypothetical means can we go back to hypothetical Can we go back to positive? Did you hear what I just said? Instead of tearing it down, wouldn't it be amazing? Let let me just rephrase it. Because I keep blaming it on one person. And the other party would have to be able to agree with it and to be okay with doing it. Hear me out. If two people found a way within everywhere to heal and to work on what they needed to work on while you actually had the option to watch it play out, it could be a beautiful thing. I don't know why so many people are so contribute. Y'all should be praying for this man to to heal. Y'all should be praying for for growth. You should that it those are those children's father. Like, come on, y'all. Why are so many people what have, why is there so many people? That's okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep praying. Don't worry about it. I'm going to keep praying because me, I know what needs to happen. I have children. My children have a, a, a father. I get it. I get how everybody, you know, wants it to be, you know, I don't like them. I don't like them. But wouldn't a blessing in all this be the healing? Wouldn't a blessing in all this be the growth? What the, wouldn't a blessing be uh, amazing and how the kids get to see two parents work something out? Wouldn't a blessing to be, y'all could say all y'all told y'all souls and all that. Okay, but everybody that keeps saying F that man is that man is somebody's children. That's the part I can't go over. I ain't riding with that. Y'all can get off my live with that. Anybody that want to say F somebody and that's somebody's father, I'm not with it. Again, y'all can do what y'all want. This is my page. I can say what I want to say. I can say what I want to say. I can say what I want to say. It's a long road. It's a it's a lot of things. But let me change the subject because I want to talk to people that are mature and that are mature with growth in their ways. I'm not about to do nothing. See what somebody said? Dem and X are best friends. Mine started off real rocky too, girl. It, it was a movie. All all divorces aren't the same, but again, healthy, happy, safe. Wasn't that what we was talking about? Happy, healthy, safe. Happy, I've never seen so many people that are so consumed with wanting somebody to stay a villain or a bad person. And I ain't even on his side. Let's be clear. I'm not on that person's side. The side that I am on are children. 
The side that I am on is healthy. The side that I am on is everybody feeling safe. That's all I'm saying. What does it say? I want that, but some of us look at the reality and have gotten through the same thing. I agree with you. It's the best for this baby and a better situation. Listen, y'all do what y'all want to. Y'all do what y'all want to. And y'all can make this controversial. Y'all can flip it. Y'all can do what y'all want to. Y'all can deliver it back to mail however y'all want to. People do that. I don't even know how we got on this subject this long. All I got to say is, listen, at the end of the day, kids, healthy, happy, safe. And anybody that feels like children don't need their fathers or children don't need their mothers, it works both ways. Children need both parents when it's healthy, happy, and safe. That's all I was saying. So y'all can twist it or do whatever, you know, whatever y'all want to. And yes, a lot of things have been done. A lot of things have been said. But at the end of the day, healthy, happy, safe. And all I know is I'm a God-fearing woman and I know my God. And I know that anything is possible or anything that can happen with and through God. That's all I'm saying. And I want to be thoroughly entertained like everybody else, but I don't want people to get hurt in the process. That's just who I am. And I I don't want anyone to grow up and to feel like a certain kind of way about certain decisions that were made by adults. You get what I'm saying? Does my friend need to protect herself? Yes. I am. Listen, I'm team male all day. Let's not get the game twisted. I'm, I'm team male. I want her, her mind, her body, her spirit, her soul. That comes first. All of that comes first. All I'm saying to the people that always want to rah and rah, rah, rah. I'm saying let's rah, rah, rah and pray for the best outcome from happy, healthy, and safe and for them children. That's what I'm saying. Let's keep supporting her businesses. I heard 7th Avenue rock that thing out at TikTok. I hope she do another TikTok, you know, supporting her businesses. You know, thank you to everybody that goes and does something with her businesses. For those of you who have created YouTube uh, channels and shows and have been able to create and generate revenue for yourselves, you know, I'm excited about that. But in order for everybody to keep doing what they're doing and keep talking about what they're doing, it's going to have to be a transition into happy and healthy and safe. Because if not, all this go away. Y'all going to have to find something else or somebody else's show to talk about. That's what y'all going to have to do. No, for real. Y'all going to have to find something else to talk about. Y'all will. Y'all will. And and I feel like I'd rather talk about them in a healthy and, and, and happy and safe way. I would. Nobody's perfect. My father wasn't perfect. If I went in and started telling y'all about my father, hell, my mother, but I know the God I serve. And a lot of us were raised in dysfunctional families. It's a lot of y'all sitting on here that didn't have your daddy in your life. I didn't have my father in my life for an extremely long time of me growing up. And I had to take a lot of different things. And I wish that my mother had did certain things different because as a child I wouldn't have made some of the mistakes or did some of the things that I did if I had my father my entire life people don't understand that some of y'all were raised without mothers because of the mistakes that they made and that people held them accountable for the the mistakes their whole entire life it's a situation in my family I won't say who the person was but it took all the way for somebody's mother to die to realize all the lies that was told about that woman. That woman was bipolar and schizophrenic and she was kept away from her children, pressing upon lies to say that, oh, she was a crackhead and she did drugs and she never did drugs. She never did drugs. What we found out later was she, she was chemically imbalanced. She was bipolar, schizophrenic. But yet, if she would have got the help that she needed, the medication that she needed, the monitoring that she needed, the the person I'm talking about within my family could have still been raised with their mother around them with a different narrative, with a different visual of who their mother was. So, so, what am I about to say? Can y'all hear me? Uh Uh-oh. I got to go. These people, 
they keep calling me, that means I'm about to get in trouble. It's probably time. Um, it's probably time for me to go because they keep calling my phone back to back. Can y'all hear me? So listen, I'm going to do something I never did. And I ain't even saying a prayer for that man, but I'm going to say a prayer. Phone. I don't know why. I don't know why when they keep calling my phone. Can y'all hear me real quick? I'm going to say something real quick. Can y'all hear me yes and yes? I want to make sure because they keep calling my phone. Okay, good. You can hear me yes. Perfect. Okay, real quick. Because now this live went somewhere else and I moved by the Holy Spirit, right? And I want to say this. I want to pray for some people right now, real quick, right, before I go. This ain't really what I do, but I'm going to do this today. There's some people right here right now that have grown and have some generational trauma, some childhood trauma that they suffer from not having their mother, from not having their father, from not having both parents, from whatever, whatever may have happened, whether big mama raised them or grandma raised them or auntie raised them. And I want to tell you, don't inflict your pain and what you've been through onto other people and what you see is what you believe a person needs, especially when it comes to children and it comes to parenting. So I want to pray. I want to pray right here, right now, that all of the childhood hurt and trauma and the things that you've been through, that you are healed in the name of Jesus and that you do not transfer that generationally to your children and to your great-grandchildren and to other people because of how it made you feel. And I'm going to pray that whatever that hurt is, whatever that brokenness is, whatever that loneliness is, that we don't try to push that off into other people because of how it made us feel and what we went through and how my mama was a single mama. And if my mama did it, Mel can do it. We're not going to do that. And my mama had to raise all these kids by herself. And if she can do it, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to pray and we're going to speak healing. I don't want nobody to hurt on this earth. And everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And nobody, nobody is exempt from God's grace and mercy. So, yeah, we can do all this entertainment stuff we want to. But it's a lot of y'all that's hurting on here. It's a lot of y'all that's broken on here. It's a lot of y'all that are projecting what it is that you went through and how you was raised and what your mama did and what your daddy did. That y'all trying to project on some people that you don't even know. That you watching on a whole TV show. So that's what I want to pray for. Because it needs to be a lot of healing. And until we heal and until we break generational curses, we will continue this cycle where we believe that children do not need a mother and a father to go through life and through different circumstances. Now, again, happy, healthy, safe. That is what we're praying for. And if that other person that y'all like to call a clown can present himself in a place that is happy and healthy and safe, we are not the people to say that it cannot be and it is not possible and it shall not be so because we have watched 30 minutes for the last five or six years and have formed a personal opinion on what we believe because it's not really what we believe is what God says and what Mel says at the end of the day. So I just want to say this, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this awesome day, Lord. I thank you for the spirit of just calling on me and switching this live, Lord. Lord, I want to speak to all those people who are being touched, who are still hurt, who are still broken by the things that have happened in their life, God, with their parents, what their mother did, what their father did, what their grandmother did, what their uncle did, what their aunt did. And Lord, I'm just asking, I'm speaking so much healing over those people, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask that you heal them, that you touch their heart, that you touch their soul, that they can break generational curses, Lord. Lord, I ask that we speak the healing and we speak the resurfacing of respect, Lord. Lord, I ask that we speak reconnection. I don't care if it was drug addiction, alcohol addiction, Lord, even in the name of abuse, Lord, I ask that we can reconnect those people, reconnect those children, reconnect these adults to the family that they have lost purely because of the mistakes that were not of you, Lord. I ask that you pray and that you protect, not pray, Lord. I ask that we pray and that we protect those people that are going through a vulnerable state, Lord. I ask that we give them a glimpse of hope, a glimpse, a glimpse of life, a glimpse of grace, Lord. I pray for those people who feel a sense of loneliness, that they had to go through life just feeling alone because they didn't have both parents and the 
support that they needed. Lord, we pray for the other person on the other side of this, Lord, and there's a lot of other people. So let's just pray for all of these mothers and fathers that who have made mistakes, but in their mind, they were doing something that they thought was the best that they could at that time for their children. Lord, we speak life. We speak happiness. We speak health. We speak safety over all of these children, Lord, but more so these adults that are involved. These people from the outside looking in, Lord. We're praying for those people. We're praying that you give them something. Because I'm praying for re uh, reunion. That's what I'm praying for. I'm praying for a lot of reunions of mothers and fathers and grandmothers and families. In the name of Jesus. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, man. I am praying for a lot of y'all to reconnect, to get healed. I'm about to cry to get growth because I know what that feels like. I know what that feels like to not have both parents and both people happy, healthy, safe. That is what we want. We want happy, we want healthy, we want safe children. And don't y'all go lying, I gotta go. Don't nobody go lying talking about I picked a side. I didn't pick a side. The side I chose was happy, healthy, and safe. That's the side I chose. Whatever that looked like, whatever that feel like, whatever that's going to be, that is the side that I chose. I will end it and be clear, just in case they decide to cut this thing up. I love male. I am team male. I am team chicken nuggets. I am team them 1,000% every day, all day. But I definitely want everybody to heal. Listen, I got to go. Y'all have an awesome and amazing day. Y'all better slide on my DM and get y'all some live. Stop playing with me. Go donate to a kid. Y'all better go donate and sponsor a kid. All right. So we heard what Shanita had to say. Let me know what you think about um, her comments in regards to Martel and that people should pray for him. Um, let me know what you think about her saying that she didn't pick a side and she doesn't want people to uh, view it that way. Uh, but drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. As always, you guys, I thank you all for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video.